going to um, open a software from my Ubuntu phone over SSH. So this is just showing you that this is indeed a laptop uh, running desktop Ubuntu. And right now, I will actually SSH into my phone and run uh, Lazarus of it. This uh, script behind this is just a wrapper script uh, that starts Ubuntu, I mean Lazarus. I will show you what is inside. I uh, need to add um, X forwarding to the command like that. And then when it happens, uh, the Lazarus IDE starts in the phone, but the interface is being sent over Wi-Fi into my laptop. So it's opening right now. Yeah, this is Lazarus running from my phone. It's not installed on the laptop. It's installed in the phone. And the interface is being wirelessly sent over to my laptop so that I can use it conveniently like that. So this is how I mostly work with it, uh, most of the time. This is how I make apps for Ubuntu phone. I just open it here, move around, compile. This is, by the way, this one is already uh, running from my project and it's also running on the phone right now. Uh, it's being just sent over uh, SSH X forwarding back here. So this is how I'm using it. Yeah, And the IP that it shows there is from the phone. That's, that is one way how I use uh, ID. Most of the time, that's how I use it, right? But uh, you don't have to type these commands uh, in terminal. I mean, I don't mind. I like it this way. But there's another way. You can create a desktop launcher. So here I'm creating a file uh, on my desktop right now. I'm going to call it Lazarus 1.8. It's just created on my desktop. And I will edit it in Genie. Um, that's how I do it. I just copy. I have actual Lazarus installed on this computer already. So I just uh, uh, check what is the uh, content of the desktop launcher of that Lazarus that I have installed locally. Uh, so it's installed here. So th this content right here, this is the actual Lazarus that I have on my desktop. I copy that. And I will paste that content into the launcher that I just made on desktop. But I will make a change here in the exec line. I will actually put in my SSH command. So uh, this launcher will be modified version. It will not start the Lazarus that I have installed on the on my laptop. It will actually run SSH command and it will open Lazarus from the phone over SSH. I'm going to keep changing the name. Yeah, this part here, you see? This is SSH. So this is saved. And now look. I can close this window, close this window, and put this in. Now I don't need to type any commands anymore. It's just saved in this launcher. Look, I double click on it, and it comes. When it comes up, it actually runs from the phone right now and loads onto my desktop. Uh, after just clicking an icon, just like a regular one. And, and this is it. You see, uh, Lazarus IDE from my phone sent over. I can just use it like that and, and make a software on my Ubuntu phone from it. And uh, I will also show you how it looks like uh, on the phone itself, because I can also run it on the phone itself, right? It, it's more convenient for me to run it like this, right? Because it's bigger screen, because keyboard, because mouse, but I can also run it on the phone itself. And I will also show that to you as well. But first, let me um, let me emphasize uh, that this is probably the easiest way to develop apps for uh, Ubuntu phone, no cross compiling, no special SDKs, nothing like that. Uh, you just open up Lazarus, you just create whatever you want to create and compile, that's it, and run it. And you can either do that on the phone, but you know, small screen is not that convenient, but still you can do that. 
especially if you connect external keyboard and mouse then it's pretty pretty awesome and you can also um, open it on your laptop um, remotely over Wi-Fi uh, if uh, well I have Ubuntu on my laptop but if you have Windows on your laptop you can also also do that you use putty to SSH into your phone and then you install X server like X mean for example and you can do the same thing so this software runs um, I was just using Lazarus over there but it was running off this phone and I was actually compiling this project here this is the button that I just added I just added this button yeah, there's this small message here showing the 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 message doesn't scale up everything else does so now if I again if I um, start Lazarus and this Lazarus actually is running off here actually it's, it's the same Lazarus as here the same one so what I can do I can for example change something here on designer I go to the form designer and this is the button that I added right this one so let's change the caption on it to say something else let's change it to for example hello right and also let's change the color of it let's change the color to uh, um, blue and now let's run it first I run it on the computer and when this is compiled when it runs it's compiled so I can also run the same compiled um, version here the old one already closed the new one is here and I can also start it here right now on the phone and you see it's the same one see this is this is what I just changed change the caption of, of it and um, change the color of it right here so so basically what is happening is this Lazarus here it's running off this phone right now but I'm using X forwarding to send it to this screen to use this keyboard and this mouse whatever I do here after I compile the compiled file uh, is updated right and it's on the phone because it's running from the phone so when I restart it here um, it's the new file look if I come back here to the Lazarus again let's say I add something else under or for example I change the align of this button send it to a little bit to the top mm. let's check the button again right now currently this button is just hanging here hovering just in the middle right so what we will do, we will change the align of this button in the Delphi IDE and we'll change it to something uh, let's change it to top like this you see, I'm losing the focus here so hold on okay so now if you see I changed the button layout from just hovering here to be uh, here and I compile it again you see it runs and this is the new compiled version right so as you can see the 
the button is already in different position here you see but this this phone has uh, the old one running if I close it right now and start it again it will load the new one the one that just compiled you see So this is, this is how convenient it works. I can just design anything here. And I show you something else. When I close the IDE there, stop debugging, yeah. So I just close it. I close the app here as well. And then what I can do, I can actually open Lazarus here. You see, that's the same Lazarus, the exactly same. I can flip the screen, the same one. Hopefully you can see it. So now what I can do, it's a little bit difficult to use with the touch because everything is very tiny, but if I had mouse, I could do that. Now I check, I, hold on, I don't want this. I check, uh, select this uh, button again, and I want to change the align change it to bottom you see it's in the bottom right now and also run it here run it it's the exact same you know Lazarus on the phone and uh, on, on my laptop okay so this is the app running right now you see the button is here right now I can close the Lazarus right now no problem, I can close it. And if I come back to to this app, it's already the new compiled version. And what I have done is I made these um, components here, um, uh, which are not default ones, I just re rewrote them. What they do, these components, like these buttons, these tabs, all of these things, uh, these things, these scroll boxes, sorry it's a little bit you see this so all of these components Lazarus had the default ones but they don't scale up to the uh, high DPI scenario so I just rewrote them and made my own components that they just know that they are run on the phone via XMER and they know that XMER um, tells the wrong DPI not the actual one and they scale up to to match the resolution and the DPI of this phone So this is how it works.